Hello there, Audrey Ann here from Live Snap Love. Now, if you've ever wanted to change the color of something in your images, for example, you want to change the color of someone's t-shirt, their shoes, their lip color, or just something in the background, then you can do this really easily now in Lightroom using the new local hue slider. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to use in this video. Now, before we dive on over into Lightroom, I do just want to let you know we have loads more resources on Lightroom for you and you'll find a link to them underneath where you're watching this video, so be sure to check those out too. But for now, let's go and dive into Lightroom and learn how to change the color of pretty much anything in Lightroom Classic. So here we are in Lightroom and you'll find this local hue adjustment slider in the three uh, local adjustment tools here in the adjustment panel. So you'll find this in the graduated filter. That's it there, the hue slider. You'll find the same slider here again under the radio filter and again under the brush tool. So it works in exactly the same way, whether you choose the graduated filter, the radio filter or the brush tool, you're really just going to choose the best tool suited to the subject that you're trying to change the color of. So for example, if you have something with straight lines, you may want to use a graduated filter. For circular areas, you can use the radio filter and for pretty much everything else, you can use the brush tool. So let's dive in how to use this just as a basic to begin with. So let's just start with the adjustment brush. And what I'm going to do is just paint over my subject with this adjustment brush. Now I do have the mask overlay on at the moment. So you're going to see that as red, just the area that I'm painting. And you can see I'm being a little bit rough and ready with this, like so. And then I'm just going to press O on my keyboard to take that overlay off. And now when I use this hue adjustment slider, as I move that, you can see that the color of the bear is changing. So if we made a mistake and it didn't need to be blue and it needed to be pink, then this is where we could do that. Now you'll see that obviously anywhere that I have brushed over is going to have this hue adjustment. So you can see this plant in the background has also had that effect. Now we can use a range mask, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but just to show you, you can also just switch to your erase brush and then you could just brush that off the areas that have been affected that you didn't want them to be. So you can use that as well. So I'm just going to click done here and I'm going to move to a different one and I'm going to show you the range mask here. So for this one, I'm actually going to use the radial filter. And just because our object here is round, we can use the radial filter. You could use your brush instead. It's going to make that slightly bigger than my uh, lollipop that I want to change the color off. And this, I'm going to show you how you can do this with the range mask on as well. So when I have that area selected, I'm just going to do this show selected mask overlay. Just remember that if the outside is selected instead you can just select invert there and then anything inside the circle is going to get that change applied so i'm just going to move the hue slider i'm going to actually press o first to take off that overlay and you can see that now anything within that circle is changing the hue but let's just say i only want to change the middle portion here but you can actually see as i move that hue slider it's changing that green on the outside as well and let's say I don't want that to happen. So what I can do is basically tell Lightroom to only change this hue here, this yellow hue, not the green on the outside and that's in that little pips there in the middle. And we can do that just by using this uh, item here called range mask. So it's set to off as standard. Just gonna change that to color. And you'll see that you get a new dropper tool that comes up here as well. And you can actually just pick this up and use this to tell Lightroom which colors to change. So in this case, we only want the yellow, so I'm just going to click there. And that is basically telling Lightroom only use the colors in this range. And now if I move the slider, you can see that the green on the outside remains the same 
but that color in the middle is actually changing as well. So that is a really good way of being able to uh, limit the change from this slider. I'm gonna click done on that one and I'm just gonna show you this in a different one. So this is how I would probably use this tool quite a lot is uh, changing the color of someone's t-shirt, for example. So again, I'm gonna use the brush tool for this one and I'm just going to start brushing over the area here. I'm gonna show O again, just so I can see where I'm brushing. And I'm deliberately gonna go over here a little bit on the edges there, maybe over the chin a little bit here. I'm gonna take the overlay off again and I'm gonna start moving my hue slider. Now you can see I'm changing the color of the t-shirt, but I'm also changing the color of his chin there. So again, you can just go down, wear that range mask, choose color, pick up your dropper tool, click anywhere on the uh, t-shirt there, and you'll see that you can actually click in different areas. So if you find that there's a couple of areas in the t-shirt, different colors, you can click on that to add more samples. You can see that it's then coming off the skin and just being applied to the t-shirt. Now do remember though that you can also use that erase brush. And if you do find that's gone on somewhere and it hasn't really taken it off that well, you can just brush over that area to remove it. So I'm gonna click done there. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can use a fine adjustment. So I'm going to go onto this photo here. And let's just say the ears here are a little red. So I could use my radio filter here, for example. I'm gonna bring that over the ear and then I could change the color of the ear here to get rid of that red. But obviously I don't want such big swings. Just want to make a really fine adjustment. That is when I can use this use fine adjustment checkbox. And then you can see that any change I make there is much more nuanced. So I can just bring it ever so slightly away from the red. Uh, to kind of bring back the tone there. So if you've got redness in the cheeks, for example, someone's looking a little flushed, you could use this slider here as well. So there you have it, how to change the color of pretty much anything using the new Hue slider in Lightroom Classic. And don't forget, before you go, we have a lot more tutorials and resources and training for you on Lightroom Classic. So check out the links underneath this video to learn more. That's it from me today. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.